Hey guys, it's your own boy, the one only Great Dane, back with day 76 star drop opening. Let's see what we got. Epic. Coming off with an epic. 100 credits. That's pretty darn good. Super rare. Super rare. 52 power points. Is all the credits. Under rare. 57 coins. In addition, today I also have all of the uh, Twitch drops. I was gonna say, uh, if you didn't know where I got them, I'd explain it quick, but it literally says Twitch drops in it, so I already claimed 300 coins, get 50 bling, 150 power points, which uh, is alright, I guess. But the biggest prize here being 10 free gems and the player icon. So I have something else to talk about quick at the end of this video since people are always asking me about how to get free gems because <laughs> I have no idea but they assume that I know the secrets to unlocking free gems in Brawl Stars for some reason. Daily freebie is 5 credits. And the moment most people have been waiting for, the new skin, Jock Stew is finally in the game. Get you, is a crazy voice line. You get new spray and player icon, but I'm pretty sure, and I'm going to buy him because he's legendary rarity and you just can't get him in any star drops. So I believe he comes with uh, an entire pin set as well, which you don't get to see. So, let's see what we got here. Safety last! So, Jock Stu. Uh, he's got pretty much all the cool stuff all the other legendary skins have going for him. I mean, this is going to take a while to go through, isn't it, if it's all of that. <laughs> okay, I was, I was going to say for a second, it was, was going to take a while to go through all the pins, but I didn't realize they'd all just appear free in the shop. Okay. Um, the most um, unique thing about this skin, which I think they already said in the Brawl Talk that they wanted to add to all the legendary skins, is the defeat animations so he has like this uh like i, I want to say like he's what what he actually is he supposed to be so it's like monster academy right but i, I want to say like an eel when you defeat brawlers and eel i guess it even counts for the um npcs which another thing i have to bring up is they actually brought back um boss fight which, they don't even show you the quest for it anymore unless you play Boss Fight, which you can still see the quest notification on the top of the mode, so you know it's there, but it's, it's kind of like a secret quest now. It's kind of weird. I do not have time to go through all the pins, but th this is a really good uh, value, I think, for the... Which is essentially 20 bucks for a legendary skin. And again, I'm only really getting it because it's simply something you can't get out of Star Drops. But anyway, uh, I also saw, I'd like to mention, a um, a video thumbnail that during the Lunar events, which should be coming up pretty soon in game day 3, you should be getting another 10 free gems. And again, look in the Brawl Stars news tab in-game if you want to see how to do the whole uh, Twitch rewards thing. It's incredibly easy. You link your Twitch account to your Supercell account. And then you literally just watch a uh, streamer's uh, with drops enabled, and you, you don't even have to technically watch it. You can just be uh, what they call AFK away from keyboard, and you can just have it running in the background. Two hours goes by. All you need to do is go into your Twitch um, claim section. You'll get a little notification. You press claim on all of them, and then they will appear in your inbox in the actual game. So you're probably wondering why on earth am I on Supercell store? So uh, there's just if if you guys are wondering how to get quote unquote free gems, obviously they're not free essentially since you have to buy them. But the way the store works is when you buy gems in the in-game app, the Google Play takes a cut of the proceeds. So Supercell made their own store where they get the full amount. And in addition to that, to entice you to buy stuff on their store, they give you 10% more gems. So, is it worth it, is the question. So, obviously you don't get more gems with the Brawl Pass bundle. Um, I think it's honestly about the same as what you'd get in-game. The biggest thing you can do with the bundle, though, is you can technically gift someone a Brawl Pass, but it's a lot more complicated because you actually need to have their email. You need to get a code from them once you input it. 
and then you can buy the Brawl Pass for them. Obviously, you could just do it all yourself, but in order to do that, you need to have their email and be able to log into it, and that becomes a privacy issue. So you, you can do Brawl Pass giveaways, but again, you you need to be talking to them in order to do it. So it's you can't really do it as a surprise. I, I think they should really just do it like they did in Fortnite, where you can simply just put in like their username or, or their secret code, because you know we all have like a hashtag um, specific code for all of our accounts. If they could just do that, I think that'd make that um, a lot better than you know the whole email thing. So anyway, all you guys really care about is the free gems. So is it worth it more to pay for the gems on this Supercell store? Both yes and no, and I'll tell you why in a second. So the biggest thing about um, this is actually going to depend on where you live, strangely enough. So Believe it or not, some states make you pay taxes on whether or not you buy gems in the Brawl Stars app. So some states also don't make you pay taxes. So if you're not paying taxes, then when you go to this Supercell store, it actually will make you pay taxes on the the order you're getting. So what that essentially means is, you'll see here, uh, so on $20 worth of gems, you'll be getting about 36 extra gems as the 10%. But you're also paying a, roughly $2. It, it's a bit less than 2 so it's still technically some free gems. But if you're not paying taxes, then it might not be as worth it to you to do this. You can even add a creator code if you're worried about supporting your creators through the Supercell store. But if you are currently paying taxes in the Brawl Stars app when you buy gems and it is either more or even the same amount as this, you're literally just missing out on free gems. Like, log into the Supercell store with your Supercell account, and every time you make a purchase, you get 10% more gems. If you don't have, if you don't pay the taxes on the gems, it's up to you to decide if it's worth it. For me personally, if I were to not pay taxes and then pay the extra, like, $2 for, like, 10 free gems i i don't think it's as worth it especially if i'm looking to get a specific amount of gems it's really just going to depend on what the offer is in the shop for me because uh, again you really just have to consider the taxes weirdly enough but in all technicality if you go to the super sale store you are getting some amount of free gems it's not as much again depending on the taxes because the taxes add up to how much you would be paying in game anyway but I just wanted to bring it up because, again, for some reason, people think that I know how to get free gems <laughs> in Brawl Stars. I don't know why, but they're always asking me, free gems, free gems, how do you get free gems? And I, that, That's really the best I can do for now. Again, just uh, keep an eye out for the uh, Lunar event that should be coming out sometime soon on the third day as long as you log in. And it'll, it'll probably be there for the entire event. I think it lasts a week. You'll just get 10 free gems. And we also just got 10 from the Twitch event. And you can get more if you plan on buying them. And again, buying isn't really free gems, but getting more than you usually would. But yeah, this video's already probably gone on long enough. I want to check out the new Jock Stew skin. And yeah, guys, let's see how far we can take this.